people of uh, BrewTube land, it's John Owens here from Aussie Brew. Um, I just thought I'd make a very, very quick video because I've not done one for a couple of weeks now and I'm sure you're all wondering or worrying where I am, but I'm still here, so uh, smashing. Um, what's been going on? What has been going on? Well, I've um, my latest brew. I've been doing a lot of bottling, a lot of brewing, not a lot of drinking because I've had a chest infection, but there you go. Um, lots of bottles conditioning in the cellar. Uh, this is my latest concoction. It's um, Wilco's Bitter Kit, which I uh, steeped with some crystal malt grains. Um, added a kilo of Brew Enhancer, and uh, as it's fermenting down, I've now dry hopped it with 20 grams of East Kent Goldings and 20 grams of Falconer's Flight. It smells very nice. I thought I'd try something different in a bitter. So hopefully um, that combo of hops should be quite interesting when we come to drink it. Um, the other thing, which is not very related, is I'm well chuffed. I bought myself one of these funky, it's like an old style hi-fi system. There you go, I don't know if you can see it. But I've got hundreds of records that I've not had out of the loft in many years. Some, some of my classics from when I was a teenager and uh, early 20s. So I bought this uh, TAC system. About 270 quid. Uh, you can play your records. It's got Bluetooth, so you can put your Spotify through. It's got a CD player, radio, etc., etc. But mainly, it's for playing the records. And I have been playing uh, the classic British Steel by Judas Priest, whacking it up to all the way to 11 on the amplifier. That's one for Crew Wolf. I know he's into his heavy metal. But um, I'll see Judas Priest actually in November at Manchester, so I'm looking forward to that. I've seen them lots and lots of times over the years. Anyway, I'm going to crack open one of my uh, home brews. This is the uh... oh dear, there goes my phone. Who's that? Hello, Sam. You all right? All right, okay. I uh, don't think so. Do you want to bring some chips in? Okay. No, no, absolutely not, no. Cheers. Bye-bye. Apologise there. I won't be able to edit that out because uh, I don't know how to edit, so... <laughs> That's my wife and my son coming back from the Trafford Centre, just letting me know. I don't know. All fun and games, eh? Anyway, this is my New Zealand wheat beer. Did I not get rid of that glare in my glasses? I'll tell you what, take my glasses off. Uh, New Zealand wheat beer. Um, well, I've had in the bottle for three months now. And it's by Black Rock. And uh, I've only drunk a couple of these. I've been waiting for it to carve up. It wasn't the most overly car beer I've ever produced. Anyway, look at that. Nice colour. The old Guinness glass. Not too much of a head. Oh, you can smell the uh, the bananary esters, as they say. That's what it tastes. Eh, not bad at all, that. Probably too cold, actually. I think the last time I had it, it wasn't as cold as that. But uh, it's still not a bad pint. It's a little bit different, because I've uh, never done a wheat beer before. But uh, very pleasant, very refreshing, quite sweet. Sweetish. We can say you can taste that banana and clove that's coming through. I've had much worse in the pub, as they say. So apart from that, I don't have a lot going on. Um, got lots of beers. I've put my me, um, me Woodford's um, Admiral's Reserve in the cellar. And my... Um, what was the last one I did? Oh, my Nuki Brown, the Wilco Nuki Brown, which I uh, did a bit of a malt... Um, sorry, a steep in there with crystal malt and did some hopping with Fuggles. Uh, so it's quite good, those Wilco's Nuki Brown kits, if you tweak them. Anyway, 
That's all I've got for this week, kids. What I'm going to do now is when I leave you, put a bit of the old rubber sole on. This is the original mono LP rubber sole. One or two scratches, but it is the original. A bit like myself. So thanks very much, guys. I watch all your videos. I know it's been a bit of a cheat, this one. But uh, just saying hello. So have a great weekend. Cheers, mate. Bye.